now or not on uh, uh, good evening uh, assalamu alaikum for everybody worldwide uh, my name is sam shukri uh, today uh, we have a session uh, maybe uh, 30 to 40, 45 minutes uh, then we can uh, make questions and answers uh, for whoever uh, wants to do that uh, then uh, we can uh, uh, explain uh, the uh, highlights, uh, the outlines uh, of our course, uh, which will be uh, held uh, from 9th uh, till 12th uh, from this month. Uh, with, it will start uh, next Friday. Uh, so uh, I hope uh, that you will enjoy uh, with our session first. Uh, then. If you are encouraging, uh, if you are admired of it, uh, then uh, we ca you can register uh, with us with our uh, course, which will be for four days, uh, and uh, we'll cover uh, the uh, oil and gas well uh, from the drilling stage uh, till the abandonment. Uh, first of all, uh, I will uh, present myself. Uh, uh, my name is Sam Shukri. Uh, I have a bachelor degree of uh, petroleum engineering. Uh, I was uh, gradu I graduated from the university in 1995, more than 25 years ago. Uh, my nationality is Turkish. Uh, also, I am Syrian in the same time. Uh, I worked uh, in the uh, oil and gas uh, field uh, for more than 25 years uh, in different companies. Uh, and uh, first I worked uh, as a work over experience, a uh, work over uh, supervisor, then well services, then production engineering. I covered well integrity. Then I moved uh, to uh, a training, uh, which uh, uh, is IWCF, International World Control Forum certification. Uh, then uh, last, uh, I got uh, international instructor uh, from Scotland, uh, UK. Uh, so uh, I uh, can uh, summarize uh, the companies uh, that I worked for. Uh, I worked for uh, many reputable uh, companies, oil companies, uh, uh, such as Syrian Petroleum Company. Uh, it is located in uh, the uh, northeast uh, of uh, Syria, and I worked as work of our supervisor. Then I moved to Shell Syria uh, and worked uh, with the well services. Uh, all types of well services, uh, well integrity, uh, HSE, uh, perforation, coal tubing, blah, blah, blah. Then I moved to Abu Dhabi, uh, onshore company, ADCO, and uh, I worked there uh, with the high H2S uh, environment and precautions like this. We will talk about it uh, later. Uh, then I uh, joined uh, uh, as a, a trainer or instructor for uh, well control. Uh, my LinkedIn profile uh, on uh, uh, the net, uh, it is Samir Shukri. Uh, I write it down. Uh, if you uh, can visit it, if you want to send me a, a connection a request, I will apply. I will uh, agree for it. Uh, Next, uh, here, uh, if you see, uh, I started with uh, Syrian Petroleum Company, this one, then I moved to uh, Syria Shell, joint venture between Syrian Petroleum Company and Shell, which is uh, very high standard. Then I moved to Edco, Abu Dhabi onshore company. Here in this red cycle, I worked here. This uh, field is called Bab or Habshan. Then I moved to uh, uh, training of uh, IWCF uh, uh, in Aberdeen, Scotland. And this is the map of Syria also. I started here, then moved to here, then moved to Abu Dhabi. Uh, here, uh, I uh, got uh, my uh, training certificate, uh, train the trainer uh, from, uh, it is uh, the highest level of training in the world. Uh, so. Uh, nobody, uh, not everybody can uh, pass or not everybody can be awarded. They are very high, very, uh, very difficult uh, standard, uh, Aberdeen, and it is a third party, uh, not uh, also, not IWCF itself. Uh, the <laughs> TSG is uh, uh, the uh, training uh, company, uh, 
uh, it is very uh, very tough and they they teach very very strongly and uh, really i appreciate them and uh, this is the assessment if you see all of them are excellent and i uh, strongly passed 87 percent so uh, uh, thank god uh, it is good and uh, this certificate uh, i can train and instruct everywhere in the world because it is high standard and there is a certificate number for IWCF. And this is also, I, uh, I am authorized uh, to uh, deliver courses for wireline and coaching operations. Uh, we have uh, two sections, uh, drilling and wireline operation, uh, drilling and well intervention. Drilling is something uh, different and the wireline and co-tubing is something different, level four. So with this, also, it is uh, for two years also the uh, certificate. And uh, here uh, we, uh, this is uh, some of uh, two of my certificates. Uh, this is uh, my uh, course in WS Well Service uh, 100 course. Uh, I did it uh, in Netherlands, uh, Holland in 2007 because I was trained, uh, uh, my trainers were from uh, England and uh, Holland. So we, we got uh, the uh, good training. I hope uh, that I can deliver it to you. Uh, most of my experience, 25 years, uh, so you will be lucky, uh, you will build your knowledge. Uh, and uh, uh, how uh, uh, did I choose uh, the uh, subject of this uh, uh, course? Because uh, when I uh, came back uh, to my memory, uh, I remember that I did this course. If you see it, uh, Abu Dhabi company or EDCO, when I was there, I was working with them. I attended this course, well testing, completion design, operation, well stimulation, and work over. So all of these, now I added double. So you can take benefit double of this. It is very fantastic course. Uh, for uh, the uh, Mr. Uh, Nikhil, uh, he is uh, the custodian uh, and uh, uh, he is uh, the company uh, called the Petroleum Engineers Association. Uh, it is uh, working in uh, at the tech company, uh, ISO 9001. It is 2015 uh, certified. Uh, and uh, MSME registered in India. It was started uh, one year ago uh, and directs towards uh, the extension of fundamental uh, understanding of oil and gas industry among the young professionals worldwide. So, uh, and they, uh, they are a very hard, very uh, professional uh, company. So you can depend on them. Here is uh, Falcon uh, Integrated Services. Uh, this is uh, the company that I uh, work with it uh, uh, in a normal uh, operation for in the uh, for training instructing uh, IWCF. Uh, it is located in Turkey, uh, and uh, uh, I am uh, uh, managing uh, the company with uh, the guys uh, who are uh, sharing with us. Uh, so uh, I can uh, support you if you want uh, in the future. Uh, for any courses, especially IWCF, either drilling or well intervention. And these are uh, the uh, 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 telephone numbers, uh, the email, like this. If you save them, uh, they can uh, uh, give you some benefit for the future. Uh, let's move on now to our agenda, uh, introduction, life cycle of a well. Uh, how uh, life cycle, let's uh, jump uh, to uh, uh, items one by one. A life cycle, this is the life cycle of a well. So, the well, why are we drilling a well? Because we are looking for oil and gas. We are looking for hydrocarbons. We, we need uh, the black gold. This is the black gold uh, is available uh, in most places uh, in the world, underground. It may be under 1,000 feet maybe under 1,000 meters, uh, 10,000 feet. So it varies from place to place. So first of all, we have to make uh, a 3D uh, seismic. Uh, 3D seismic, uh, it can uh, give us uh, an idea. This is a 3D seismic, this one. 
uh, it can give us uh, an idea uh, about what is uh, the structure uh, under uh, the ground and the possibility uh, of the uh, uh, presence of the oil and gas, hydrocarbons. So after that, we confirm that by uh, identifying the place uh, for this uh, well, uh, which is either uh, oil or gas or oil and gas well, uh, then we can drill uh, a well using the uh, drilling rigs. Uh, this one, uh, the uh, well construction, uh, we, we identify this, uh, the place of the well in this structure. We are at surface. We are, we imagine what is the uh, downhole, what is uh, underground. So we use drilling. After drilling, we use run the completion. After we running the completion, we put the well in the production, which is the uh, main life of the well. It may extend till 20 years, maybe 30, 40 years, maybe 10 years, it depends. Then we do maintenance. Uh, how is this maintenance? For example, the tubing is parted, so we do work over. Uh, the lifetime extension, uh, we do routine maintenance and we do uh, ad hoc maintenance uh, if there is, uh, for example, the well doesn't produce anything. So we have to investigate and see what is going on. After that, when we deal the well with everything and it doesn't have any uh, drop of oil, then we plug and abandon this well, which means same as uh, a human. It has a lifetime uh, from uh, uh, zero day, from day one till day 70 years. 70 years, uh, we are dealing with this well. After that, uh, it has to uh, be plugged and closed. So you can uh, uh, summarize the well life cycle uh, from drilling, then completion, production, intervention, which we have to highlight uh, in our uh, main course uh, in details, then plug and, ab and abandonment, and uh, we can uh, put uh, cement plugs uh, and uh, close all uh, per, uh, oper uh, or reservoirs or open uh, perforations. Or in another words, you can uh, say design, which means uh, design the well, then construct, build it, then operate, maintain and abandon. It is the same, it gives the same meaning. And here also, as I told you, uh, site planning and construction, it takes 18 months, uh, then drilling, uh, two to three weeks of drilling, maybe one, month, maybe two months. It depends on the depth of the well. Then uh, we go to production. We do uh, hydraulic uh, fracturing to open the formation. Uh, production, it uh, ex may extend uh, from 20 to 30 years, plus minus. So uh, we passed the se seismic. And uh, uh, this is uh, the principle of uh, seismic. Uh, as we talk, uh, there is a structure uh, of uh, the trap. We call it the uh, oil trap. Uh, what does it mean, oil trap? The place where the uh, oil and gas accumulate underground. Uh, it may be at 1,000 uh, meter and maybe at uh, 3,000 meter plus minus. So with this one, it uh, vibe, uh, we do the seismic survey either on the ground or in the sea or maybe at, uh, we're using satellite. Then we can analyze uh, these uh, data and uh, take our decision. Uh, we say it, is, it depends on the possibility. Uh, possibility, there is here or not there is. So you have to investigate. Companies, uh, international companies, what are they do? They uh, sign uh, contracts with the governments and uh, they uh, put money, invest, uh, this money, uh, for example, uh, Shell, uh, they, uh, uh, they do agreement with, for example, Egyptian government. Uh, we will uh, drill two wells. Uh, they will cost us $15 million. Uh, if we find oil, then we have to take, for example, 30% and the government will take 70%. Plus minus, this is approximate. I give you an idea about what is happening. So this is uh, the gas at the top. There is gas in the trap. The trap is the house of the hydrocarbons. Uh, because uh, why is the gas uh, in, the up, in the upper position? Because uh, it is light, lighter than oil and lighter than water. 
uh, its uh, specific gravity is low, then the specific gravity of oil is uh, or density is uh, more than gas, then the water uh, is has the highest uh, density and specific gravity than hydrocarbon. And here in the uh, sea, you see survey ship. Uh, there is a layer of uh, water uh, uh, from surface, from sea level uh, to seabed. Then we can uh, imagine uh, this is uh, pos there is possibility to find or not like this. So it depends. We send uh, uh, here. We source. We have a source of a shock wave. Uh, air gun and uh, it will uh, be sent uh, to the road this wave. Then uh, in the other side, uh, there are hydro phones uh, which, uh, re uh, which receive uh, the uh, wave that we sent uh, and with, which uh, was reflected from the uh, surface of the road. Uh, so uh, we uh, have uh, to give you just uh, a quick uh, imagination uh, about uh, international well uh, controlled forum uh, when uh, before we go into the rig we will uh, show you now uh, the drilling rigs then the completion then production so before you uh, enter into the, uh, the rig you have to buy uh, to be uh, qualified you have to be assessed by uh, the uh, highest uh, level uh, in the world which is uh, IWCF uh, well, uh, well uh, 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 International Well Control Forum, uh, uh, and you have to be uh, competent to take it. Uh, for uh, drilling, uh, it is separate, and for uh, intervention, uh, I can uh, give you, uh, in order to prepare for this international certificate, you have to study the following subjects. Uh, we have five main subjects, completion equipment. We will give you now uh, the completion equipment, what is in the well. Completion operation, uh, these are uh, mandatory. Uh, then we have three, uh, uh, three materials. Uh, you can uh, choose uh, one or two or three of them, wireline operation, cold tubing operation, and snubbing operation. We will talk about them one by one. Uh, so there are four levels uh, of this certificate, level one for familiarization, level two for indirect introductory, uh, level three for operators and level four, which is the highest one for supervisors. Uh, we can uh, give you uh, some of the calculations for way control. If you uh, 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 you summarize, you memorize uh, these uh, as if your name. Uh, they, we use them uh, in every calculation on the way. So uh, you can uh, go uh, through them uh, one by one. Uh, and as if your name, you have to uh, put them in your mind. So it, they take time, but they are very easy. Now we go uh, to drilling rigs. Uh, a drilling rig uh, is, uh, which is the uh, machine uh, or the complex uh, that uh, can uh, drill a well. Uh, and uh, we have uh, two types uh, of drilling rigs, land or onshore rig and uh, uh, offshore uh, rig. Offshore rig is classified into jack-up rig, semi-submersible rig, drilling barge, and drill ship. If you see it like this here, if you see the drilling rig, it is onshore on the land, then four types will be in sea. So it depends on the depth on the, from, uh, of the water from sea level to seabed. Here, uh, it is for shallow water uh, drilling barge, then here till 500 uh, feet, uh, Jacob drill uh, rig. We will see now the uh, uh, photos for uh, 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 for the these rigs, actual rigs. But uh, here uh, is a photo from the computer. Uh, same in submersible rig uh, also till uh, it drills till 10,000 uh, feet. Uh, this water operates at water depths till 10,000 feet. Uh, here, a drill ship, uh, it is till 12,000 feet. Here, uh, we, we said uh, land rig, this is land rig. Uh, on, it is onshore, uh, everywhere you can find it like this, smaller or bigger than this. Uh, then Jacob rig, uh, uh, sorry, barge rig, then Jacob rig. 
then a semi-submersible platform. This uh, each one has a mechanism to uh, 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 to spot and rig up and connect to the uh, downhole. Uh, here also, drill ship uh, it can uh, drill till uh, twelve thousand feet uh, of uh, water from sea level till sea bed. Uh, it is uh, this is a, a Turkish uh, drill ship, uh, which is uh, drilling in the Black Sea. Now uh, we uh, can uh, wells can be uh, of, of exploration and or operation or production. Exploration when we come to uh, this area, we don't have any well in this area, so we have to explore it. We drill one well or two wells or three wells. Then we can, if we find a well, then we can drill a production well. A production well, we may drill uh, for these three wells, we may drill 100 wells. It depends uh, on the reserves in this area, how much oil is in place. Uh, we will give you also uh, how uh, can we calculate uh, these uh, oil in place. Uh, all of these, it is a science. Uh, there are uh, equations. Uh, there are laws, uh, you can learn all of them, we can cover them. Uh, then uh, the wells uh, are either vertical or horizontal or deviated. Uh, when, uh, for the, uh, uh, how uh, can we uh, uh, identify uh, the uh, wells uh, types uh, in the production phase? The production phase, either, for example, we want to produce well from this well, it is oil producer. If there is gas, it is gas producer, easy. Uh, if we want to inject water, it is a water injector. Gas, inje inject gas, we have to uh, uh, drill a gas injector. WAG injector, uh, one month uh, we uh, uh, inject gas, and uh, one month or two months we uh, inject water. Water alternative gas, uh, WAG, water alternative gas injector. So. Uh, consecutive, consecutively uh, uh, injecting water and uh, gas. Uh, water supply well, uh, for example, uh, we have a shallow uh, reservoir. We want to, uh, we want uh, water to inject it in another wells. Uh, so uh, we can uh, drill, it may be at 1,000 or 2,000 feet, uh, shallow water. So we can take it, uh, pull it using ESP, uh, pump it to surface, then inject it uh, to another uh, injector wells. The last type of uh, uh, well uh, wells uh, will be a water disposal well. When we want to dispose uh, from uh, any uh, water or any uh, uh, contaminated uh, uh, fluids, well, then we can uh, the dispose it uh, in the uh, water disposal well. The completion now, uh, we come, uh, we, uh, to be honest, uh, I came uh, from the uh, work of our and uh, production and well intervention. I don't want to give you something uh, I am not competent in. Uh, drilling, I didn't work uh, drilling. I worked uh, as a work of our uh, engineer. So work of our engineer is different than drilling. So uh, if you ask about the drilling courses, uh, then uh, another uh, uh, trainers or instructors can give you and deliver this subject. For me, I cannot deliver it to you. For me, I can give you uh, an idea just to understand, uh, understand the process, how we are working. So even if you are not specialized in drilling or production uh, or instrument or electric, but you can understand when you get uh, out from this session, then after this, uh, the course, uh, your imagination will change completely, I am sure. So uh, uh, I cannot uh, deliver to you uh, this uh, drilling, but I can give you an imagination. Completion, I stay with you for 10 days. I talk about the completion, uh, which uh, can be uh, uh, done uh, after drilling the well. Uh, we do all preparations, we do uh, 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 fluids, uh, kill fluid, uh, take it out of the well, perforation, stimulation, logging, uh, running completion uh, with packer, all of these. So uh, we can uh, focus on this uh, and uh, we, uh, the objectives of the uh, completion, 
uh, to protect the casing. We have casing. Uh, we uh, it has to stay from A to Z in the well, uh, so we have to protect it. Uh, also to provide the optimum flow conditions. The well is producing, for example, 2,000 barrel oil per day. We put uh, for three and a half inch. We don't put five inch, for example. Uh, there is role for that. Uh, so we have to be in the optimum condition for this. Uh, downhole emergency uh, isolation. So we have uh, something called uh, 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 barrier uh, policy or barrier envelope. So uh, we have to protect ourselves uh, and the well, the environment, the uh, people uh, who are working with us uh, to protect them uh, by uh, make the, making the well safe. Uh, and uh, in this case, uh, we can uh, uh, avoid any incident uh, for the future. Uh, permit uh, downhole chemical injection. Sometimes if the well has a scale, then we can uh, pump, uh, for example, scale inhibitor. We can, can pump corrosion inhibitor. Uh, we can uh, also uh, permit downhole uh, measurements. Uh, the reservoir has to be uh, measured from time to time. Uh, for example, pressure and temperature. Uh, it, uh, the well, I, uh, I, imagine, I imagine that the well is very uh, close to the human body. It feels we have, we deal with it. We measure its pressure, we measure its temperature. So we have to take care of it to take care uh, of us. Uh, if we uh, give it uh, our uh, attention, uh, it will give us uh, oil. It will give us more money, which is the black oil. Uh, isolate producing zones. Uh, for example, we have three zones. We can produce from one zone and the other two zones are isolated. So we have something uh, called a uh, sliding side door uh, or uh, we uh, have a side pocket mandrel. We have, uh, so these uh, we can open and uh, uh, we can open and close the annulus or the uh, annulus, the uh, formation between the two packers. Uh, and in this case, we can produce the well uh, from wherever we want. It allows uh, selective uh, completion, as I told you, or we may produce from upper, produ upper reservoir and uh, close the lower reservoir uh, or uh, vice versa. Here uh, we have uh, the uh, types uh, of the cl completion classification. Uh, either we run uh, the uh, here, we, if we go to here, uh, you see that we run the casing to the top of the uh, reservoir and we kept the, uh, the reservoir uh, open hole. In this case, uh, we uh, uh, didn't run uh, the casing to the TD, total depth. Uh, we kept it open, why? Because we want uh, to avoid causing uh, any contamination uh, any uh, restriction uh, for the uh, hydrocarbons from the open hole to the well, which is called here inflow. Inflow, uh, the uh, flowing of the uh, fluids of the hydrocarbon, hydrocarbons from the reservoir, which is uh, bearing the hydrocarbons to the well, while the movement from the well, from the well here to the surface, it is called outflow. So inflow from here to here and outflow from here to here. So this is the tubing, uh, packer and casing. And here the fluid. Uh, another one uh, will be uh, like this. Uh, here we run, uh, run a casing uh, to be low uh, reservoir depth and uh, perforated it. Then we run the completion. Here uh, we have uh, another uh, completion, it is dual multiple pole zone completion. Uh, we produce uh, from here or from here. This is called short string, this one. This one is called long string. You see there is packer here and there is dual packer here. And at surface we have a dual Christmas tree. While here we have single Christmas tree. Here we have single Christmas tree. So we have to go into details we uh, took this uh, from uh, drilling formulas. Uh, this, uh, this is a company. Uh, so we can go through the uh, completion components one by one. 
uh, during this session and later. So as we uh, talk, uh, there is single completion, single selective completion, uh, dual completion and dual selective completion. Uh, here, uh, as we uh, told you, there is a single vertical well here and here single selected vertical, vertical also, there is one zone, two zone, three, uh, two zones, uh, three zones, and the packer uh, here, packer one, two, three, we can produce uh, from here or from here or from here. This is SSD, sliding side door. It can uh, be opened and closed, and this one by, can be opened and closed, and uh, either produce from here only or uh, coming good. Coming good, what does it mean? Uh, uh, produce from here and from here. Or close this one and produce from here and from here. So it is interesting. Uh, from uh, the well has a, st a strategy for production. It is uh, determined by a reservoir engineer and production team. Uh, they know uh, from the uh, logging. Uh, results uh, that this well uh, has to produce from this well for 10 years, from this reservoir from, for 10 years, then we can evaluate the situation. Then for, from this reservoir, for example, it, uh, it has uh, uh, reserves, uh, can, we can produce for five years, then like this. Uh, this is the simplest completion, which is vertical, uh, uh, single completion, only uh, completion with completion components and production packer. This packer may be uh, permanent packer uh, or uh, temporary or uh, retrievable packer. So we will go to it uh, because it is very important in the uh, IWCF, uh, you, they ask you uh, too much uh, about this. Here we have dual completion. Uh, either uh, the two are producing uh, or one is producing uh, this one, for example, this well, this reservoir is gas. It is producing gas. And this one, this reservoir is, a produce, is injecting water. So in the same time, from the same reservoir, from the same well, from the same completion, we isolated this uh, annulus here, uh, using the dual packer, and here is single packer. We can produce gas from here or inject gas. This is injecting uh, gas from here to this one and injecting water to the upper zone. So we can play with it. Uh, it is interesting subject. Uh, you can uh, imagine. Here we have single stem hole. When the reservoir is low, the reservoir pressure is low, uh, then uh, we uh, want to minimize the restrictions uh, in the well uh, and avoid uh, putting any, uh, for example, F nipple, uh, SSDs, uh, uh, SCS, SSV. Uh, this will uh, make uh, like a blockage uh, that prevents the flow of the uh, well bore fluids uh, in flow first from the reservoir to a well bore. Uh, then from the well bore to the surface, which we call the outer flow. So this is only a tubing, you see it. Uh, here, uh, we have uh, uh, either vertical completion, this one, you see, uh, or uh, uh, here, uh, uh, horizontal completion. Horizontal completion is more complicated it needs uh, more uh, technique uh, to deal with it. Uh, here, uh, we can uh, see uh, the completion types uh, for artificial lift. Uh, this artificial lift, uh, we can uh, use either uh, from uh, this one, we can uh, inject gas uh, from in the annulus, and uh, then we can produce uh, the oil. Uh, what uh, does it do? Uh, it uh, lightens uh, the uh, hydrostatic pressure that is applied on the reservoir and it will allow the fluids to flow. Here, if the well is, uh, uh, the completion column is uh, full of water, then in this case, uh, the uh, oil and uh, uh, gas will not produce. It is normal. Why? Because hydrostatic pressure applied 
uh, is uh, higher than the uh, reservoir pressure, uh, which will prevent uh, the flow uh, of this uh, uh, reservoir, these hydrocarbons from flowing. So how do we do? We run a side pocket mandrel, this one, this one, this one, and uh, then we uh, cut this one. For example, this depth is 2,000 feet. All of these uh, 2,000 feet, it was water. Now it is gas. This one gas from here, from surface to here. If you reduce, uh, uh, if you replace the uh, water or the oil with gas, of course, uh, the hydrostatic pressure that is applied on the reservoir, what will happen? It will be less, right? Then we go to the uh, second gas lift valve, uh, which is located, which is uh, set in the uh, side pocket mandrel. Uh, here is, there is a chamber uh, filled with nitrogen and uh, it opens and it closes uh, as uh, we want. Uh, so we calibrate it at which pressure it opens. So we go one by one. If we cut this one and the flow, this, uh, it goes to this one, this will close and this will open, then this will close and this will open. It is interesting technique. We can uh, study it later. Uh, here uh, we have also, uh, uh, what is this ESD? Uh, electrical uh, uh, ESP, uh, electrical submersible uh, pump. Uh, this one, uh, we run it when we have high production, uh, when high water cut is high. For example, water cut is 80 or 85%. So uh, when we produce, uh, for example, 10,000 uh, barrel oil, barrel per day gross, uh, if BS and W uh, is 80%, so we are producing 2,000 uh, barrel oil per day, which is more than uh, fantastic. Uh, then uh, when we have uh, low production, uh, we go to uh, uh, beam bump, which is uh, another type of artificial lift. Uh, all of us uh, see it uh, in the uh, telev television. Uh, so it uh, goes up and down. It is reciprocating pump. You see the pump here. Uh, and here there is saccharode. Uh, it uh, deals with, uh, with the low production uh, wells uh, and uh, uh, maybe uh, high water cut. Uh, for, um, for example, we uh, uh, produce 1000 barrel uh, gross. So uh, in this case, uh, uh, the reservoir cannot uh, give uh, 10,000 barrel. So we don't run ESP. While this one is very suitable. For this one, uh, PCP, progressive cavity pump uh, completion, there is motor here and there is a stator. This one is a stator fixed one. And this is the inside one is a stator. Stator is rotating and uh, what to, uh, it will, uh, uh, it will uh, make the oil uh, escape up to the surface uh, by rotating. And in this case, it will, uh, the, here there is a saccharode, if you or uh, a saccharode or rod string, we call it, or saccharode, and there is coupling here, then it will uh, go to the flow line. Uh, this is used uh, for a very thick well. So now you have an imagination. Uh, if anybody tells you ESP, what does it mean? Beam bomb, what does it mean? PCP, uh, gas lift valve, gas lift system. So now you have an imagination. We can uh, go uh, in the course through uh, or most of them. Now we are in a hurry. We will uh, accelerate a little bit because the time is passing and we don't have much time. Uh, here, normal uh, uh, completion uh, from wellhead uh, to the uh, reservoir. So we have this one down hole safety valve. Uh, all of these, we, we will take them in details here also. Uh, tubing hanger, this is in the top. Uh, we can talk about it also. Subsurface safety valve, this is the most important uh, part uh, that can be run for the safety of the well and safety of the environment uh, and uh, uh, personal equipment, everything. It can control the well, close it uh, in case of an emergency. Here is, this is the safety valve. 
there are two types, a tubing retrievable and wireline retrievable. Here there is a flapper. You see the flapper? It secures the well and uh, closes it. Uh, we uh, see also production string, which is a tubing. We can go through it. This is the tubing. Uh, it is the conduit uh, for hydrocarbons from the reservoir to the surface. And here we have coupling. We have types of the completion of the tubing. Uh, packers also, we have a packer. It isolates uh, below the formation, uh, from the above, above the formation to uh, keep uh, the uh, casing uh, healthy. Uh, and we have two types, permanent packer and retrievable packer. These uh, can come in the IWCF exam uh, uh, too much. Uh, so you have to understand everything about them. We can go through them. This is, there is a element, packing element. There is a slip uh, to uh, fix uh, this packer against the internal side uh, of the casing. And this uh, packer is, uh, con uh, is uh, connected to the uh, tubing here. This is the packer. Uh, nipples also, we set the plugs inside it for isolation. Uh, we have types of it. Circulation devices, uh, uh, we mentioned size, sliding side door and side pocket mandrel. We, uh, we, here we have also in the core, IWCF, you are, you are being asked uh, too much about them. So you have to focus on them. Uh, this is SSD, uh, sliding side door. Uh, it can be opened or closed. Uh, this is closed. There is a sleeve inside, you see the hose. Uh, not opposite each other. Here, opposite each other, it is open. The flow will go from annulus to tubing or vice versa. Uh, here we have this, uh, these tools uh, to, uh, uh, for gas lift. Here is side pocket mandrel. We run uh, the uh, gas lift valve inside it using this kickover tool. And this is uh, actual uh, image uh, for the gas lift uh, valve in the completion. Uh, coupling, uh, flow coupling and blast joints, uh, these uh, also, they have uh, their own uses. We can talk about them. Uh, Polish bore receptacle uh, for the movement of the completion in the well, also travel joint, uh, these ones. Uh, well entry guide also for the tool string to run in hole and uh, pull. Uh, well head, we can go through the well heads. Uh, these are uh, the uh, types of the well heads. Uh, you have to familiarize yourself with them, you see. Uh, the, how much uh, big is the Christmas tree? Uh, this is a man and this is. And here also, if you stop here, you will be like this level, uh, one, two meters or less, while this maybe four meters or five meters. Uh, this is uh, a gas well, high pressure gas well. The Christmas tree, we will talk about it. Uh, every, each uh, valve, it is a combination of valves. Here you see. Uh, we can talk about uh, monoblock. Uh, we have uh, three types. We can go through them. This is for subsea, vertical subsea tree and horizontal subsea tree. Uh, you see it. This is a beam bump well head. This is a dual Christmas tree. Uh, this is ESP uh, well head. So here we can run a cable uh, to the uh, ESP downhole. And here, uh, so each uh, production method uh, has different uh, wellhead. Uh, origin of uh, oil uh, and reservoirs. Uh, in general, uh, we can imagine uh, that uh, before 50 million uh, years, we suppose, or 40 million years, uh, uh, the uh, plants and animals uh, were uh, buried uh, down uh, and in the uh, ground, under the ground, uh, in the source rock, then under pressure and temperature and compression, uh, they uh, uh, changed the station, the condition of it, it, it changed from uh, the uh, original uh, shape, the orig original status to the hydrocarbons. Then it uh, moved, to, uh, oil and gas moved to the uh, reservoir. This is from the uh, mother rock. Uh, or from the uh, generation rod to the uh, trap. This is the trap, uh, oil trap. Uh, 
this one, this one, we have uh, different types of trap. We can go uh, through them. These are uh, reservoir rocks uh, from uh, top gas, oil, then water. This is water. We can go through them. Oh, so you see it. There is here a uh, generation of oil and gas. Then it uh, uh, moves here up. Normally, uh, generation uh, is deeper uh, and accumulation uh, is uh, higher. Here, this is the optimal uh, condition of the reservoir. Uh, this is, uh, we can find it, but rarely this one, this, uh, but we can imagine it, it is uh, in the computer. We can imagine that just to simplify it to you, and make you imagine what is going down uh, the hole. And here also, uh, these are type uh, troughs uh, of the uh, reservoir. Uh, reservoir characteristics. Uh, reservoir uh, has many characteristics, for example, porosity. We can study it, permeability, uh, and hydrocarbons. What are hydrocarbons? We can study them. We can go to bubble point pressure, uh, which is pressure in the reservoir should be uh, higher uh, than this one, this point, we uh, have a pressure and temperature. Uh, and this one is the critical point. Uh, above it, uh, the uh, gas will be dissolved in the oil. Below it, the gas will start separating from the oil. Uh, below this one, here we produce liquid zero. Here we produce liquid 100%. So we have to play in this area from here to here. So this is the optimal using pressure and temperature and measuring the uh, uh, reservoir and uh, pressure and temperature continuously. Here are reservoir mechanisms also drive. How uh, can the oil and uh, gas uh, be produced to the surface by this way? Uh, we have solution gas drive gas cap also you see this gas cap uh, is pushing uh, oil uh, down hole uh, then uh, the oil will be enforced uh, to go to the surface uh, here uh, the same uh, gas is here and oil will uh, be pushed up uh, depletion drive we will talk about them all uh, it could be a combination of two mechanisms also uh, crude oil specifications, uh, we have uh, uh, density and specific gravity, and how can we measure them, uh, these tools? Uh, API, uh, always uh, we deal uh, with API of the oil to uh, differentiate whether it is high, it is uh, light uh, or medium uh, or uh, heavy, and depending uh, on uh, this one, uh, you can uh, sell it uh, either with high price or low price. Here also, we have a formation of pressure. It has uh, three types. We can talk about them. Uh, here uh, we have uh, Darcy's equation. It is very important uh, equation. Uh, we can uh, study it, the productivity index. Uh, this uh, gives us uh, how much, uh, how many uh, barrel per uh, day per PSI. Uh, it is a very uh, imp uh, important uh, factor that we can uh, uh, we can utilize uh, in the uh, production strategy production of the well for the future. Uh, here is the productivity index uh, graph. We can uh, we have well number one and well number two. Uh, here we have uh, initial oil in place. Uh, we can calculate how much of uh, oil is uh, in this reservoir. We, it is a science, we, it is easy, but you have to learn it. Uh, if you uh, know the uh, formula, then, uh, and you enter uh, A, H, phi, S, W, V, O, then you can uh, calculate uh, how many barrels, for example, 10 million barrel in this reservoir. So you can uh, produce it within 10 years. Uh, boils also and uh, the gas behavior, we can uh, talk about it. You see the gas, when we press it, this is uh, the volume. When we press the gas, you see the pressure increases. Then what the uh, volume, what will happen? You see the pressure increases, the volume uh, goes down. 
you see? So you can talk about it, the pressure here and volume. When we uh, press the gas, the volume, its volume here will go down. The production stage uh, here, we uh, this is uh, the uh, third uh, or fourth uh, stage of the well life cycle. Uh, we can produce the well from uh, the uh, wellhead uh, to uh, from wellhead to station. In the station, we can separate uh, oil, water, and gas. Uh, water is uh, uh, reinjected in the well in another well. Uh, gas is uh, 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 is uh, compressed uh, using compressors uh, and is uh, uh, sent uh, to uh, the uh, gas uh, plant and oil is uh, treated and uh, 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 it can be uh, utilized uh, and uh, exported. Here the, uh, we talked about them, these production. Here, progress, uh, progressive cavity pump, PCP, we talked about it, how uh, stator and rotor work. Jet pump also another uh, type of production. Gas lift valve, we give you uh, an idea about it. Uh, inject gas here and uh, produce oil from here. Uh, here, gas lift also reservoir monitoring. As we told you, uh, reservoir should be monitored all the time. We have to make uh, production optimization all the time. Do well testing, do sampling. Uh, and uh, these are the well test data uh, that we can input uh, into our uh, programs to uh, know where we are uh, from the uh, production state. Uh, well testing ensembles, it gives us uh, these uh, uh, figures uh, that uh, will uh, enable us to know what we are producing from the well. You see? Here is the well, then separators, then a flare. This is a flare or green burner or boom. Uh, this is boom, not a green burner, a green burner, uh, uh, not a flare stack. Uh, in uh, high H2S uh, wells, we use always a flare stack. While here we have boom, boom green burner, we call it. The gas uh, is burnt and uh, the oil and, uh, and water uh, will be uh, shipped. Here is a well test uh, package. Uh, here you see chalk manifold and here test separator. Test separator in details, we can talk about it. Here we, uh, everybody uh, of us uh, hears that uh, West Texas uh, uh, Intermediate, uh, uh, WTI, the type, uh, the American oil. Uh, Brent, what does it mean? Does it mean Dubai? Uh, so these are many three types of oil. We can talk about them. Uh, it is uh, related to OPEC. Uh, and uh, uh, Brent uh, is, uh, the, has the highest uh, price. It is light and uh, sweet gas. Uh, then Dubai uh, crude, then uh, West Texas Intermediate because uh, it is uh, thick and heavy. Here we can talk about it. Uh, here, uh, from uh, where uh, this uh, Brent came, uh, it is uh, between Norway uh, and here uh, there is Scotland and UK here. Uh, here is a Brent. Brent, a Brent uh, is a small field. They took a sample from it, analyzed, then uh, it, it uh, became as a benchmark. So benchmark for uh, this area, uh, Europe, uh, Africa and Middle East is uh, measured uh, with a Brent. Uh, here you see it uh, here. This is a Brent, Brent oil field, small field. Here is Scotland, here is Aberdeen, England and Norway. While here, Texas, uh, it is related to this one. Uh, this is the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, this is Texas city. And here is the field, West Texas. We call it West Texas in uh, intermediate. Here is Oklahoma. And uh, this is in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, reservoir monitoring, we uh, will talk uh, about uh, the uh, uh, types of the surveys uh, that are uh, carried out uh, downhole. Uh, here, we can go uh, through them one by one and analyze them, you see. Well intervention, uh, it includes slick line and coil tubing, types of slick line, uh, slick line, 
uh, wireline tools, uh, standard wireline tool string, also we can go through them. These are wireline tools, one by one we can go. Uh, what uh, can we do? Uh, we can do many uh, operations in the wireline. Uh, we can uh, measure pressure, temperature, cut works, uh, bailing like this. Then uh, if we have any problem, we can fish, use fishing operations. Uh, study a case, we can uh, study it uh, for slick line fishing. I can explain to you actual uh, problem uh, that uh, it happened with us uh, um, several years ago. A braided line also, it is another type, E line also. We have perforations, uh, uh, types of perforations. What does it uh, mean perforating? Uh, and uh, study case uh, for stuck uh, cable of tools. This is electric line. Uh, here also we see it, wire line, electric line. Uh, coil tubing, here uh, it is uh, the uh, most important uh, technique that we use in our waste coil tubing. It has uh, uh, these uh, activities. Uh, these, this is uh, the coil tubing here, uh, two ways here and here, very close. Here is also, we can, uh, this is nitrogen in it, this is pumping in it. Coil tubing rig up in high pressure ways. Cement plug uh, using coil tubing also we can uh, tell you. Uh, here we pump cement in this case and isolate uh, this zone. Uh, here we, uh, this is uh, MBBT. Uh, wireline retrievable bridge plug, we call it. Above it, we uh, uh, run uh, dump cement above it, uh, three meters of cement or 10 feet. So it is fixed uh, and it can isolate below it from uh, above. Nitrogen kick off if the well is dead or so we can uh, uh, kick off the well and we can talk about it uh, later. Coat tubing convey perforation or so we can call, call uh, this is the photo of the uh, perforation guns, you see it? It has phasing, for example, 60 degrees, uh, 45 degrees. So uh, it is, you see the cable? The cable is like this. Uh, it covers uh, 360, 360 degree uh, phasing in the well. So uh, every uh, uh, part of the casing uh, should be perforated to connect the reservoir uh, with the uh, well, well board. Uh, here also open and close SSD with the, in the horizontal completion. Uh, we can use it, uh, use the cold tubing uh, to do that. Here you see, we have uh, like this one, a smart completion. Uh, it has, uh, uh, it is uh, complicated. Uh, it is not easy to understand it now. Well stimulation, if there is any uh, contamination or any uh, barrier that prevents the hydrocarbons from uh, moving from the reservoir to the well bore, then we can do acidizing or do fracturing, uh, fracture acidizing or uh, fracturing. Here we pump acid downhole, then flow back the acid, spent acid, then uh, the oil and gas will be produced uh, after that. Acidizing, this uh, we can uh, talk about it. You see here it is, is the formation and here is the uh, bottom hole. The fluids will move from here to here and then to surface. This is uh, during stimulation, this one, and this is post stimulation. Hydraulic fracturing also, we can talk about it. Uh, this is fracturing. Imagine yourself here, you see, this is a frack uh, operation in the US. Imagine yourself, where shall you stand up uh, if you work there? This is the well, you see? This is the crane, lubricator, VOPs. So uh, the coil tubing is run. Uh, so you cannot imagine how many tanks, how many barrels, thousands, uh, propant also, uh, like sand, so it is used uh, here. And uh, too many people, uh, it should be uh, organized. You see how many pumps? One, two, three, four, uh, I cannot imagine. Here also, road tankers, 
they move uh, fluids continuously, 24 hours operation. This is not easy at all. So imagine yourself here. Uh, sand clean out and sand and scale clean out also. It can uh, uh, block the uh, tubing, uh, prevent, uh, it can prevent the flow of the well. Here, we can uh, run for tubing to clean it. Milling also, we can talk about fishing, uh, pumping. Uh, here are the uh, pumping operations, applications that can be done. Wellhead maintenance, work over. This is the work over. I was uh, working on a similar to this one uh, for uh, five years when I worked with the uh, SPC, Syrian Petroleum Company. Uh, I worked uh, with the similar to this one. This, this is older. Uh, kill well, well kill methods. <laughs> if you are focusing on the uh, working uh, in this uh, uh, division of the uh, oil industry, you have to know uh, these uh, four uh, kill methods, reserve, uh, reserve, uh, reverse circulation, forward circulation, bullheading and bleed and lubricate. Each one we will talk about it uh, in details. Uh, these are the uh, kill graphs, you see. Well logging also, we have two types, open hole log and uh, cased hole logs. Each one has uh, each own one. A noise log, we will talk about it. We run it uh, in the well. Uh, if there is a leak in the well, you see, I will explain to you. Uh, all of these uh, can come in the interviews. So imagine yourself, uh, you are in the, in the interview and they ask you, tell me about uh, this one, this subject. Tell me about completion, SSD. So if you build yourself, you will survive. Uh, working in high H2S uh, environment, H2S is very dangerous for the equipment and the uh, hazards uh, for the uh, human. It can kill at 1000 ppm. So we have to take care, we have to uh, study it very carefully. You see very toxic, extremely flammable, dangerous to the environment, so it kills. Uh, it is called, what do we call it? Uh, a silent killer. It, it can kill you, uh, and nobody will uh, pay attention to you. So uh, this is known radiation in the well. We have reservoirs, some reservoirs uh, that uh, produce uh, uh, like uh, uh, non-contamination uh, materials. Uh, we call it uh, uh, naturally occurring radioactive materials. It can cause damage to the human, to the equipment, uh, uh, and uh, we have to uh, deal with it uh, very carefully and safely. You see this man, uh, we have uh, three types uh, of norm, alpha, beta, and gamma. Alpha, beta can go into the nose and to the respiratory system and uh, go there, there and uh, can cause uh, 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 the uh, illness uh, to the uh, worker. Uh, why the other type, uh, the third type is gamma. Gamma, uh, it is like uh, wave. Uh, this wave, uh, it, you have to limit uh, this uh, wave. Uh, for example, uh, one microsievert, uh, you can work it for uh, eight hours per day. Uh, eight microsievert, uh, we can talk about it uh, later because I work uh, uh, a lot uh, in this section. Uh, these are, uh, uh, this is an uh, insert pump for beam bomb. These are saccharodes. And we can measure uh, the uh, uh, norm uh, gamma with this instrument. Uh, hazard, we will talk about safety also you, to protect yourself. Hazard, then risk, how to control them, what are controls, uh, what is a risk assessment matrix. This is risk assessment matrix. Uh, it uh, can evaluate uh, the uh, risk in the well, uh, low, uh, medium, and high, uh, green, uh, amber, or red. Uh, so uh, then uh, there is permit to work. Uh, you cannot work without permit to work. And there are ty four types of permit to work. This is a skin factor of formation damage. Also, we can study it. Barrier theory, types of barriers, mechanical and the fluid. So everyone, we can take, uh, 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 this is well integrity management system, also WIMS, uh, we have to identify it to 
uh, keep the well safe uh, for the uh, next, uh, say, 20 years or 30 years. Uh, and this is uh, the uh, well integrity life cycle phases or so. It is, uh, it has a life cycle uh, for its own well integrity, similar as similar to uh, well uh, well life cycle. Uh, here also well barrier envelopes. Uh, in the uh, blue one, uh, there is a primary barrier, uh, well barrier, and uh, in the red one, there is secondary well barrier. Uh, oil production phases, we have primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary, when the well produces uh, uh, by itself, we can only uh, uh, recover five to 15% of the well's uh, potential, uh, while the other uh, portion uh, can come 30% in the uh, secondary oil recovery, uh, which uh, needs the uh, injection of uh, gas or water uh, to displace the oil, we can see it, you see. Uh, this is water injector, this is uh, oil here. When we uh, inject water or gas here, we displace it all the way to the oil well, producer well, then it can be produced. Then the same water, uh, which is produced as surface, can be uh, injected uh, again in the water injector. This is oil uh, zone this one, and this is what injector water, this two. Uh, again, here we can, uh, here uh, injector, we can inject uh, gas, either gas or water. Uh, here also the production from uh, the uh, oil uh, reservoir. Tertiary, this is enhancement oil recovery uh, which uh, has uh, three types, thermal recovery, uh, gas injection, and uh, a, a chemical injection. You see, we have here steam injection. Uh, we uh, pump it here. Uh, it will heat up the oil. Then the oil will go uh, to the uh, oil producer well, and it, it will be produced. Okay, uh, now thermal steam, uh, we inject uh, uh, here uh, in, uh, uh, steam and produce the oil from the other way. You hear me? Uh, uh, Nikhil? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think uh, the yeah. session is going to be long. Yeah, uh, we, we will finish uh, within five minutes only. Uh, here uh, also gas injection well. Uh, we inject gas here. Uh, in front of it, we uh, inject a miscible, uh, uh, miscible uh, region. Uh, this will dissolve uh, the uh, oil. Uh, and move it, push it uh, to the producing oil. Well, so uh, these photos uh, can uh, simplify uh, and uh, you can imagine what is going on. This is polymer here and then uh, flood water. Then it can push the oil to the production well. Uh, also uh, enhancement oil uh, recovery method, uh, uh, CO2 injection, carbon uh, dioxide. Also, you see, uh, we have, uh, we inject uh, CO2, then water, then CO2, then water, uh, repeatedly this way, so we can, uh, we can uh, produce uh, this oil. You see here, we pro uh, inject uh, water, CO2, water, CO2, uh, to this reservoir, CO2, this is uh, al uh, alternative, uh, CO2 and water. Uh, what is corrosion? We can talk about corrosion. Uh, the time is passing. There is a very important uh, principle, which is cathodic protection. Also, we can talk about it. HSE incident, how to prevent incidents. Uh, these are uh, warning uh, uh, signs. We can uh, uh, see safety work, safety first, uh, and how, uh, what to uh, use 
safety helmet, uh, uh, safety vest, uh, safety glasses, boots, all of these. So here a classification of uh, uh, zones also, unsafe act, unsafe condition, what does it mean, uh, near miss, all of these you have to, pro to uh, familiarize yourself with them, personal protective equipment also. Uh, here, what we have to use uh, on the wellhead, uh, here uh, 10 uh, golden rolls also, uh, you can uh, go through them one by one. Uh, incident prevention, how do you pre prevent the incidents on our wells and in our work environment? So uh, these, uh, we can uh, study this uh, study case, uh, Macondo well. Uh, this uh, happened in the Gulf of Mexico here. Uh, it the, uh, uh, it uh, flowed 4.9 million barrel oil per day, million 4.9 million barrel, barrel of oil uh, flowed, escaped. And this uh, uh, case, uh, caused uh, contamination. This caused uh, the uh, life to be uh, zero in this area. This is Houston, you see it. This is Gulf of Mexico, all of this area. So this is the worst, uh, uh, is, uh, worst uh, case, uh, worst incident that happened uh, over the history. Uh, this time, uh, you see it, uh, at the time, the date, uh, what happened. Uh, this is uh, the uh, investigation, uh, the investigation of the uh, uh, investigation report of the web. You see? They uh, drilled two wells, relief wells, uh, here and there, and uh, pumped the uh, mud, heavy mud. You see, this is the well for 87 days uh, flowing oil to the sea. So imagine what happened. So they drilled a well here and a well here, relief wells. You see, this is uh, the uh, kill mud. Uh, here, uh, we uh, also we can talk about uh, incident for H2S uh, in ADCO. Also, uh, three people uh, killed uh, in uh, 2nd February 2009. And the lessons learned from it, it is silent killer. You see, you see him? You cannot see H2S, hydro, uh, hydrogen sulfide, but it is called high, uh, silent killer. Uh, here, uh, the incident happened here in Shafil, it is on the border uh, with Saudi Arabia. You see three people killed and ADCO uh, shared uh, videos, shared uh, uh, awareness uh, worldwide uh, to prevent uh, such incidents uh, from reoccurring in other places uh, of the world. And uh, this is uh, the Emirates. <laughs> here is uh, uh, ADCO here on shore. Uh, and offshore, uh, here uh, we have uh, Edna. Uh, problems that can uh, happen in the wells, uh, we can uh, see scale, uh, you see scale, uh, hydrates also, it is important uh, in IWCF, they uh, focus on it too much. Uh, it can block the tubing completely. Uh, also like this, uh, paraffin also, paraffin like uh, wax, you see uh, this is sample uh, after separating, uh, this is sediment, then uh, produced water, then uh, oil uh, or paraffin layer, this one. 